I don't know. I don't know. He was my everything. And now there's no more color in my world. <sighs> Just a young widow's anguish, as you can hear her voice in an emotional day outside of the Fulton County Courthouse as she sees the woman accused of killing her husband face a judge. And today a judge denied bond for 34-year-old Antoinette Battle. She's charged with DUI and vehicular homicide after police say she hit and killed 29-year-old Martin Bavonk. He was struck while riding his bike on Roswell Road near Trowbridge Road in Sandy Springs yesterday morning. CBS 46's Daniel Wilkerson spoke with the victim's widow. High emotions inside court today as the victim's family and the suspect's family were sitting together with only a guard in the middle of them. Both families were crying. Let's go ahead and show you video uh, from court. You can see her there, the woman charged with DUI and vehicular homicide. She's 34 year old Antoinette Battle. Police say Battle was driving under the influence down Roswell Road yesterday when she hit and killed a man riding his bicycle. Now, just moments ago, I spoke with the widow of the man killed. She said this when I asked her about her thoughts on battles DUI charge. Martin didn't hate anyone and he was a much better person than I am and I'm gonna try to do what he would do and forgive her but right now she did take away my whole life. Now, the widow there, Valentina Fiorillo, says her husband, Martin Bavunk, had just graduated with two degrees. He had plans of becoming a professor. Both he and she worked at Starbucks together. She tells me that she had just seen him 15 minutes before this happened. How will you go on? I don't know. I don't know. He was my everything. And now there's no more color. In my world, everything is black. It is a beautiful day, but I can't see it. And I don't know when I'll see it again. Back out here outside the jail, I did some digging and learned that Battle, just earlier this month, uh, had gone to court on a previous DUI charge. By the way, we should mention her next court date is July 31st. In Atlanta, Daniel Wilkerson, CBS 46 News. A crime alert in Gwinnett County. Police are looking for a man accused of shooting another man several times, all before taking off. And it was employees at a nearby restaurant who called for help. CBS 46 is Yasmina Alston live in Snellville. Now, Yasmina, this started as some sort of domestic situation. It did. That man actually got shot over at this apartment complex in front of his kids and their mother. After being shot, he then ran over here to the back of this restaurant, banging on the door, asking for help. I'm still scared, honestly, because it was just right behind the restaurant. Shaquaisha Wiggins was at work Monday when there was banging on the back door. One of the cooks had opened the door and they was like huddling over him trying to see what happened. She says a man with visible wounds came stumbling in. And he was like, he shot me, he shot me. And then he was like, I can't believe he shot me in front of my child. She tells me they immediately called for help as guests inside the restaurant quickly left. I was just nervous. Like, I really thought he was about to die, so I just... I just had to get everybody out the way, lock the doors. That man was the victim of a domestic related shooting that happened at this apartment complex on Country Walk. Gwinnett police say he was shot by the current boyfriend of his children's mother. The mother of the children and the shooter were inside the box truck. And at one point, the father of the children, the victim, approached them in the truck, and that's when the suspect began firing at them. That suspect is 30-year-old Malcolm Jamal Galid, who is now on the run. He was last seen in that white box truck belonging to a plumbing company. We don't want him to target anybody else. We don't know what the beef was between him and the victim, but he needs to be placed under arrest as quickly as possible. Police and those who saw the victim firsthand want the man responsible to be caught. This was my first time ever in life seeing something like this, so I was just shocked. And Galid has three warrants for his arrest. If you know where he is, you're asked to call Gwinnett County Police or Crime Stoppers to remain anonymous. Live in Gwinnett County, Yasmina Alston, CBS 46 News.